Hey Crawford Avenue family, hope you're doing well and enjoying the Lord's grace for a new day. Hope you're weathering all the news with uh, grace and peace, trusting in the Lord for each new day. Um, we wanted to get with you and just tell you some updates about Crawford Avenue, what we're planning for the week and the weeks ahead. Uh, you may have heard that, that the CDC has uh, asked that people not meet in groups of 50 or more, and then yesterday uh, the White House has asked that people not meet in groups of 10 or more for the next 15 days. So uh, what that means for us is that we're not going to meet together for congregational worship, not out of fear, but simply out of love of neighbor and respect for the authorities that the Lord has put above us. So uh, this Sunday and the next three Sundays, we will not meet for congregational worship. However, you will receive a worship guide similar to the one that you received this past Sunday, where you can worship with family at home. We hope that those prove helpful for, helpful for you in uh, moving forward and worshiping the Lord on the Lord's Day. If there are people that you know, whether in your community group or close to you, who are isolated or who might not be able to worship with family on Sunday, invite them over if you feel willing to do that and uh, have them worship with you so that they can worship with uh, the rest of God's family and not be isolated. So we encourage you to do that. That'll be coming out every Sunday at 8.30. There's more details in the email. Um, in addition to that, uh, as you might imagine, we're not having cohorts. Uh, and because we can't meet in groups of 10 or more, at least we've been asked not to, uh, we won't be having community groups either. Uh, so that doesn't mean that you should simply stop connection with your community groups. However, it just means you'll have to get creative and connect in other ways. Perhaps that's uh, a Zoom meeting where you uh, do prayer requests. Maybe that means getting together uh, in smaller groups to have a meal together, uh, doing so safely and wisely. Uh, we want you to continue to take care of each other because part of, our, part of the way that our discipleship works within our church is that it is within our community groups and those natural connection points of relationships. That being said, if you know of someone in need, we hope that you will let us know, that you feel comfortable letting us know. Um, within the email that this video is talking about, there is a button on there which you can click and uh, fill out a, a short form letting us know your needs, how we can pray for you. Uh, whether you're doing that for somebody else or you're doing that for yourself, we want to know how we can care for you well. Uh, even though we won't be seeing each other from week to week, we want to have that system in place so that you can uh, get to know or let us know uh, what's happening with you. We want to know that so we can help you and pray for you. In addition to that, we pray that you'll continue to give to the church. Although we're not meeting, the needs of the church continue. We're pulling back where it makes sense, uh, but we also still have needs of the church. So we pray that you will continue to give. Um, just so that you know, we will have future videos uh, from week to week just to update you on what's happening, things that are happening within the church. If there are uh, new opportunities to serve, we want to be creative as a church and figure out ways to serve our neighbors. So we want to update you on those as those come about. Uh, but just know that in the coming weeks, we want to be in contact with you as much as possible. Uh, lastly, we pray that you would pray for us as elders and deacons as we try to lead the church through this pandemic. Obviously, none of us have done this before in these particular circumstances. So we ask that you pray for us, that we would have wisdom, that we would have sound counsel for one another. And uh, just know that as you pray for us, that we are praying for you. And we love you. We want the best for you. And uh, as we get through this, we know that the Lord has just something amazing for us in the times and, the, and in the days ahead. Uh, we love you. Take care of yourselves. And let us know if you have any questions.